regular season, maybe my final regular game, rebel game of the whole season, because if we don't get at least a draw, we will miss playoffs. We just need a draw. A draw gets us to playoffs, but if we don't get it, we don't make playoffs. Our Wood Elves are looking like this. Pretty healthy. We've got our Mighty Bear Tackle War Dancer. We've got our Frenzy Juggernaut War Dancer. We have our Movement 9 Sidestepper. I've added Sidestep to Greed 2, because more Sidestep, more better. Um, I've added Leader to Throws. We finally got Leader there, so we've got up to four three rolls. We've got 13 players. But we are up against a hell of a lot of inducements. Our team value is... 1635. Our opponent is playing Underworld, who are missing both their Rattoga and their Gacha Runner. So they've got 910,000 of team value and just a casual 700,000 of inducements, which is going to be interesting to say the least. Uh, they've got Mito Tackle, they've got a Block Thrower, and they've got a Dirty Player. So they've got some core pieces, but basically it's going to be. Uh, for what they come up with with these inducements that defines the game. 725,000. Lordikins had a bit of a beating, is my impression this season. These Underworld have been through the mill. Hack Flem, no surprise there. Is it Hack Flem and Maul? It is Hack Flem and Maul. That means no wizard at least. I'm happy about no wizard. I'm obviously not happy about Hack Flem or Maul. They are 15,000 shy of the wizard. So going to be keg and I'm guessing a bribe? Yeah. My assistant coach. They both get their special rules. So Hackflem can do his thing where he um, takes the ball off a teammate and uh, makes them roll armor. Morg, I don't even know what Morg special is. It doesn't come up that often. I think it's for throwing teammates. This does mean they've only got 13 players, which includes... One snotling and lots of goblins, so they're not particularly like deep roster, but they've got some serious punching power and a gutter runner to a strength three gutter runner to make up for the fact they haven't got their rusted gutter runner. We are going to bench our two one turning pieces. We're gonna feel sad about the inevitable ruination that Morg is about to do to all of these pretty wood elves. Do you know what? Morg can only punch one of them a turn. That's all we can go for. Morg can only punch one a turn. Thanks, Collie. Are you going to pin that one? Or I can pin it. Hang on. There we go. Pinned. No back seating. Hey, clockwork. Gobbo's only on, only on our opposing team today, I'm afraid. Hey, Christopher. So, yes, we need a draw to make playoffs. Lordy is out of the playoff runs. I'm not sure if they're thinking of keeping this team or restarting it. I think the gutter runner is missing because it was temporarily retired, which gives it a chance to heal its um, a perm, maybe. Um, but yes, Hackflem is better than pretty much any rostered gutter runner anyway, because he's strength three with two heads and extra arms. Once we game can reroll for TTM, so more could be useful in this matchup actually, like a throw teammate could happen. Yeah, not my favourite combo to play against uh, Shamba. The thing I'm telling myself is they've only got 13 players, so maybe with my tackle, mighty blow, I can smash up these stunties a bit and, uh, and and make the numbers not terrible because it's 13 for each team. But they have got one mighty blow plus one, one mighty blow plus two, and a dirty blow with a bribe, so they've definitely got potential to get a snowball going here on turn one. Yes, Christopher, they were down 725,000 in inducements. So, a pretty big uh, TV app.
Not a blitz. It looks like a free reroll for. Oh, that's from the kicker. It's from the inducements as well. We both rolled a one, but they had plus one assistant coach from the inducements. So for a free roll for. For the underworld. Sally, oh my god, I didn't turn it off from last time. Whoops. Sally's very quiet. Sally's not here. That was from my last game. I forgot to turn it off. Sally's. We will see. Christopher, we will see. Do you love a frenzy dancer? Okay, this is not Mog, this is a vessel in it. So it looks like Mog might hit the tree here, actually. Which means it's still a 9 plus to break armor, because even with Mighty Boy plus 2, tree has got starting of 11, so... I'm actually pretty happy any time Mog is hitting that and not a... Line up. Although Morg would have five on armor there, so even with my shield plus two, would not have hurt. Uh, would not have hurt an elf there. I'm guessing now the blitz is just on this line right the mighty here, and then maybe we foul the tree, or not because this didn't fall over. Congrats on making playoffs, Chamber. Oh, Made it with a game to spare, although my last game is against a normal 1800 TV dwarves. Well, the good thing is, um, everyone gets an MNG clear. And uh, so you can uh, you can just focus on keeping your team safe. If you've already qualified. Okay, so no removals here. And I don't think we're going to see a foul because they probably should pick the ball up. I do pick the ball up. I mean, it's only a goblin, but I think we just go for a setup here, right? We could try to surf the ball, but it's a four plus to get in there, and if it goes wrong, we could have some regrets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have to do a rush to get back to the sideline. They don't have any. We don't have any, uh, Frenzy to Frenzy is back. We could also just come in there with some Mighty Bow. Could hit this with Mighty Bow. This is kind of the most valuable one. I think with them being a lot of strength too, we actually do get involved here. Do we take the serve or do we just hit this value piece? I think maybe we go for the value. Because removing this would make a big difference. Removing a goblin is not going to make such a big difference. The pal. The pal break. Not a lot. Okay. 
Shame trading the app. I'm looking forward to these next few matches. Morg goes after the catcher. Morg does roll a pal. So this is just a six plus to break armor. That's gross. I am quite, I am quite exhausted still. I had a really, had a really bad night's sleep. Does not break armor. Love to see that one. Rolls a five. Sleep has been really bad recently. Four minute turns is specifically just for this conference of Rebel. This, uh, oh, Morg, I'm not sure you want to stand there. Um, I play in a mostly Australian conference in Rebel. Um, and the Aussie coaches were having a lot of issues with lag, so they decided to experiment with the four minute clock instead of the um, time bank. I prefer the time bank, but this is not, it's not really about preferences, it's just about the fact that the lag was causing an issue for Australian coaches, so they wanted to try this, and uh, I think the Aussies have found this better. In playoffs, it'll have to be time bank, I think, because the rest of the league have been playing with time bank. I would imagine. I mean, I'm not an admin, so I'm I'm not speaking with authority here, but because the whole strength six issue. Coming in for the foul here. Did Gets a stun. Gets caught. Love to see that. Double ones. Argues the call and fails. Bribe. Succeeds, but the bribe is not there. with this wrestler. from here that's got in the way which makes it harder but if we got to here hit into this square pushes you into there the second hit will be coming on this angle into there that does work doesn't it but it's it's harder now because of this one two three four five six it's doable it's definitely doable It's going to be one dice into red dice, is the worry. Push, push, second push is here. Yeah, I think it works. It's a little dice. You probably need that for ages in case it works. It's a bad start. Given that, we're better off now doing the leap. Because now we're doing two, 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 whereas if we do the leap, it's three, two, and then we don't have the rushes at the end. Mm. The 
stick to the chairs. This board answer for it, but so close. pretty good scatter. Got to try to get three up. Banner one, that's good. That was a fun serve. Do you like a fun serve? You like a creative serve? If I said it was too aggressive, maybe, maybe. I mean, it's costing us a board answer. So it's not without cost, but. Well, the problem is if you got caught on the serve tour, Kamada, is I would have um, had enough to get one dice block on Morg, and then I could just hit the ball from this way. Um, but yeah, the surf obviously is like better because it just guarantees that off the pitch and scatters the ball. And People always underestimate more dances, movement, and the grossness of Juggernaut Frenzy, because obviously that was into red dice as well, but it was all worth it. Lady G'day, I hope the crowd are kind, because I'd rather you don't die. Oh, that's a one in nine, so that's a reroll. They have got four. Badly hurt. Oh, a tough one. We've turned the ball over. It's the last game before playoffs. I'd probably eat it. I don't like it, but I think I'd probably eat it. Yeah, exactly. She's she's done her job. She's done her job for this game. As long as we as long as we convert this into a touchdown, she's done her job. Which is not guaranteed, right? Like I mean the hack flem can just dodge through and hit this. Like hack flem can just do that. Obviously like you could do some Sunday dodges to make it a two dice as well. So we're not we're not home and dry, but we have this uh oh no, we removed the strip board, that's good. Okay, they're just bring for the morg hit. Morg does not get a knockdown. We love it when Morg doesn't get a knockdown. We also, we still have our tackle mice there, right? Which is also, wow, Morg with the loner reroll does get it. Looking for that, I mean, I guess you're behind in this game now, so you're looking to get that Morg activated. I get it. Does get a removal. I can see that. Like, you're, you've, you've lost two players, the ball's been stolen, like, you need to make something happen. I would like to block more here, but it is a lot of work. We have got Dauntless, but I'm not relying on a 4 plus Dauntless. So I think we've got to trust the dodge, and I think we take the Mighty Bear hit on Hack them. Because stars don't get apples. Sadly, this star is not dead. 
so we'll be getting to like there. All being well. Shame is rooted. They should give Hack them secret weapon. I'm Not even Skitter gets secret Look weapon, out. and Skitter has got a secret weapon. Should be banned. I, I think it'll be really interesting to see what Rebel does with the stars because, like, I kind of think like every league has to learn the lessons for itself. Like, every league needs to work out what works for it. I know in our division, we have a big orc team that, as soon as Bomber came out, was just overdogging Mama wherever it could. So, like, I think that sort of stuff in the long run is just not going to be good for the league. But I feel like everyone needs to learn that lesson and then, and then it will be a learned a lesson. And maybe the Mega Stars will go the same way. Although, I don't know. I mean, look at this matchup, right? Like, they were down 700,000 TP in some ways. I'm like, well, fair enough, they get their Mega Stars. It's a pretty rotten matchup for Lordy. Okay, I was half expecting that just to hit the water answer here. Which is not what they've gone for. They could do hard dodges with more tip ball, they're not going for that. They're going for that. just maximizing the more kits, which I think is smart. Day Day! Morning Day Day. How are you? Thank you for the research. Okay, not a, not a murder, just another KO. Means more could base here as well. Can and does. I mean, this is exactly what the tactic was and had to be for the uh, Underworld, and it definitely is getting a little bit hairy as we lose players. Thanks for the follow, Bush Ranger. Day Day, that's 41 months, by the way, Day Day. That's a lot of months. Oh, what a legend. Thank you for being one of the weirdos for such a long time with us. Kind of hard to run away from Underworld. They're pretty speedy when they can dodge. That's going to be in range on us regardless, so I think it's just all about screening with everyone else. Don't love that. Unless I don't think I can bring it around to it. 
I don't know if I regret that. I definitely need to reroll some other things here. This is very hitable, unfortunately. I've made them roll some dice, but it's very hitable. Because hack flung means rank three. I mean, we've hit Mighty Bow, we've hit Hackfen twice with our Mighty Bow Ward Answer. It's ridiculous that Hackfen isn't dead. Who said Hackfen's allowed to survive hits? Who allowed that? Okay, it doesn't go with the Mighty Bow, which makes the one fewer player that they can use here. It does get a removal. We're down quite a few now, we're down four. This is either one dodge and two rushes, or two dodges if you want to base the board. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or oh, two dodges and one rush, so. It's either three dodges. Or one dodge and two rushes, I think the two like the options. Ooh, that's a reroll. That's good. Uh, oh, not going for the ball. We're just going to try and murder the ward answer. We're not getting that, thank goodness. Okay, I really thought we'd go for the ball there with that thing. I don't think we're going to be able to stall here, which is a shame because they can definitely quick score, but I think uh, getting the touchdown is the important thing. Last reroll. What's our stalling options? I mean, the problem is hack them with two hits could just get up and hit it at any time. So I, th I think I'd rather just take the touchdown. We don't need to win this game, we just need to draw it. So I think take the touchdown. Don't risk that touchdown. Both of us have got one reroll for the next time. Mm -hmm. Love out. Um, Lordykins was uh, someone who always used to do well with the old underworld. So back in Blood Bowl two days, Lordykins had some really good results on the old underworld. So yeah, I'd say they're a good player. I haven't played them much in a while, but uh, yeah, they used to do they used to do well in Rebel with the old underworld, which was a very different challenge to new underworld. So 
Oh, we get our second reroll because the lead is under now. Okay. We do give them another line scrimmage. We're going to take more hits, but um, I think take the touchdown. Makes sense. Just need to draw it. Get some crowns and start sketching. Thanks, Bush Ranger. Welcome. That's your first token chat. Can you believe we've hit Hack Flem three times with Tackle Nice Boat and Hack Flem is not dead? Can you believe that? Strawberry can't believe it. Strawberry's coming in asking for Blood Day and, and she's like, why isn't Hack Flem dead? So you can stream today, we couldn't make that ball. I see. Oh my god, that's play, isn't it? Good luck. Ooh, blitz, we like. Yeah, and I can't stream for that long, so <laughs> I definitely can't do a full day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can put that in my spot without doing a rush. So I think do that. Smack a goblin in the face. Which sadly does not die. A little bit rude. And then we will try to get a catcher underneath that, but we'll do that as our last thing. Because it's two rushes and we do not get a reroll for it because it's a blitz. Got there, that's good. And we caught it. I think that means they're going to deal with that. So that's obviously good for us. Make them start the drive going backwards when they've only got three turns to score. You did miss a badly hurt on a war dancer, Strawberry, but other than that, you haven't missed a lot of murder. What is it with wood elves and blitzes? They don't get enough of them in my experience. So that's what it is. In my experience, wood elves need way more blitzes than they get. I played Wood Elves at Europen last weekend. Not one single blitz. Diced. Gets the three dice on the catcher, gets the power. Power permit, gets powered. Don't die, power permit. Oh, they died. Well, they didn't die, they got badly hurt. I think it's fine. Blood for the strawberry god. Now where does the ball go? Only having one more dancer does definitely hurt here. Like we've got less reactivity and we've put committed it to this side now. So if they come hard to this side, we won't have a war dance to go after it. We started with 13, so we could get back to 11, but we're not going, um, we're not guaranteed to get back to 11 anymore. Brain, 20 months of keeping it weird. Welcome back to the weirdos, as always. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you for being weirdo, so long. Oh, I made the pick up last cheating. Just keeping it here for now. We could use Hike Flem's special ability here and punch the ball carrier and take the ball. That is Hack Flem's special rule. Carly got a short kick that's Euro and probably forgot the balls in the ankle walk underneath it. No! That's a sad time. Can you all try and handle it? Maybe. 
I don't know, they might just be keeping it safe for a turn. Like where it is now is pretty safe. We've got two more turns after this goal. Oh, Mog does badly hurt, so now we are officially below 11. Which is where it starts to get concerning. Mog indeed. Just a push. Oh my god, dodge off tackle, which we're not taking. Okay. Right. Good. Make more hit the tree. That's definitely better than more hitting something that isn't the tree. I think we need to get this wall answer back to the middle. Could come all the way around with ball, but I think it's too risky and hack them. Actually, the ball run off with it. I think we don't need to do that, so let's not. We've only got one more turn to score after this, so... Let's take a tackle mighty bow on the ones not being... Why not? We wasted a good roll there. That would have been just something much better. Um, oh well. Of course, Mug has got three teammate option, which we mustn't forget. Hey, Spluggy. Yeah, we finally got rid of one of them properly. No surprise, it's the ones not being on the team. Who has a very good hat. It's got the candle hat customization. I like it. I've always been a fan. It's so wonderful. Not stone tree. Get up. Get up. I was going to say armor 11 plus is good, but again, that would not even have broken an elf. So they've got two choices here. If they want to get hack coming to scoring range, they need to push forward. If not, they could just try and keep Vorm near Morgan and, and go for, for a teammate or bust. scary hit, but we had to put that there, so it is what it is. Another removal. Removals are starting to be a problem. He's used his bribe, so he might not foul the tree. But he might foul it anyway, because for the dead player, he could dodge it at the end of the turn. Oh, uses the special ability for hack flames, so he's going to hit, and hit his teammate. Oh, he doesn't use it, they're just offering it to him, okay. I thought that was activating the special ability. I 
Again, high club special ability, you just punch your teammate and take the ball off them. You do have to roll armor on them, but uh, yeah, it just gives that and the ball without rolling the dice for the hand over, so pretty nice special ability. Pretty powerful. Okay, so we've got no one forward, which means that your options are throw a teammate or hand off to Hackman. No one else is in range. So, plan accordingly. Burn a one. Burn another one. Great burning of ones there. Um, let's uh, tag this goblin and this goblin. Bring you around. Hit this with Tackle Mighty Bow. Good. Oh my god, we've got rid of Hack then. Nice. Took a few goes, but we got there in the end. Um, so we've no longer got to worry about Hack them. I like that a lot. Okay. Just a little bit. Want to have a scoring threat, so let's have a scoring threat. Um, I think actually the best thing we can do here is now to tag Morg. It gives up. It's going to kill. A, it's going to kill an elf. But the only way to score from here is now a throw teammate with Morg, and Morg would need to move, move to throw a teammate. So I think the way to stop it. I'm not spirit fingers. These, These are, are spirit, spirit fingers. fingers. Thank you so much, JD, for the 100 bit cheer. Who doesn't love cheering a Mangle Hack fan? Yeah, this is a bit of a tough deal for reblocks here, but I think it's the safest way to not get for a teammate happening. They are going to hit R, star catcher, with a tap of my But Earl Gaday has finally started kicking off a couple of cars there make a big difference now for the second half. It's the future Mrs. Vess. Hey, the does not get us. Could spend the last reroll on it. Unless they're still thinking about trying for the touchdown. Having a good think about it does not spend the last reroll on it. So I guess now you need to hand off to one of these goblins on a 4 plus and dodge Morg to and throw to a teammate. That's the only way you can score that I can think of. They're not doing that, they're just hitting with Morg. If you're not going for the throw teammate, I don't know why you kept the reroll. I assumed you kept the reroll for the throw teammate play. So now I think you should have just re-rolled to try and kill my catcher. This crowd knows really loud. I did put the volume up, maybe I put that up too high. Because I'd like to silence it before. Yeah, that's how it used to be. Let's put it down like that. I'd silence it completely and I like having some crowd noise. I feel like it's weird without any personally. Uh, you can't surf because it's got side. Well, you could surf it, but you have to fill these squares. It's got side steps, so the push wouldn't have surfed it. That's the reason they didn't go for that one. So we're looking set for at least one minute and a half time, and we've got some chance to try and go for a two minute and a half time. Not necessarily an easy chance, but some chance. Yeah, side step on that one. Takes the both down, trying to murder something. So, it's either a four plus dodge or a three plus leap in. 
I wonder if actually the dodge is better here just because it saves the reroll for them trying to get the ball here. Like, if you really wanted this, you would use the um, leap, no doubt. But I wonder if in this situation, 4 plus with a dodge skill is 75%, and it means you keep this reroll for if it works. I'm going to give it a try. And that's what we need to do. Second time we've surfed that throughout this game. Second time the crowd has been very gentle. Okay, what's the rolls here? Three twos, four twos, I think is the best we're going to do. Yeah, it's the same with either of them. Okay, it'll either work or it won't. We got there. Did we make the handoff? Did make the handoff. Elves are gross. Get wrecked, Richard. 2 0, and starting to feel like we're looking good for playoffs. They weren't gentle to my war dance when my war dance got served. My war dance got served and got injured. I just got back. Oh, hey, Keith Vix. Sorry things didn't work out for you against Andy last night, Keith Vix. But it was wicked to meet you in there. Uh, to meet you in Athens. So our KOs both didn't come back. So we are down quite a lot here. We're down on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, eight, which is not a good number of elves. But the 2 0 lead means we're probably okay. And don't be sorry for him. It's calm of what he's thinking about bringing you to granite. Keith Biggs, what are you thinking about taking to granite? Wait, did you go on to Milan after Athens? Is that where you did the rest of your trips? Amazing. That sounds very cool. Okay, so I think the plan here is if we can, we just want to bang it in. See if we can get some chaos back. Obviously, every time we score, it does mean a line of scrimmage with Morg, which is not our favourite, but honestly, like, most of our positionals are out anyway, so the linemen are still here, so they can go on the line and do linemen things, that's fine. And I really would like to get more SVP on catcher, because I'm, I'm really regretting giving catcher a, a block before sprint, because the amount of times we've been short on players, when it would just be nice to have that sprint for the one turn, because when it's only one push, you don't, you don't care if you're short on players. Um... They do have kick, don't they? It's a little bit interesting. I would do not need an assist for hitting a goblin. It was cheap to go to Milan for two nights accommodation. It was wow, really, that's amazing. Flights are wacky like that sometimes. The Athens fights weren't, weren't expensive where we got them, Polly. You mean they're expensive right now? Oh, we won the cheerleading roll. One of our players gets Mighty Bow plus one. Who wants Mighty Bow plus one? Uh, maybe just like... Sorry, I'm going to put it on the catch because catch has got block. I'm going to send a message to Lordy. Because I joke with Lordy that he should spend all of his inducements on cheerleaders. Um, and now he's lost cheerleader all. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, fine. 
I reached him with that fast. Oh well. Punch will tackle my spike, get her removal, that's good. Pop you back here. What's happening with the ball here now? So you're going to pick it up and we're going to aim to get it like into here, I guess. We are definitely short of elves here. I'd be happy with more elves, but there's no hack for them to run all the way around anymore, which is nice. Kratos is going to be going to NAFOL Cup in 2027. Could be in Brighton. But who knows? Who knows? We've got, we've got some tough work ahead of us in the Brighton bid still, so we'll see. We're doing what we can. High elves are good for what? Which tournament are we talking about? Running a one day in North Cork. <gasps> 23rd of November, that's too soon. Can't do that. Hey, Tarek. Oh, the Samian Showdown? Thulian told me that Wood Elves look good, but I haven't really looked at it yet. I have been enjoying my High Elves. I'm now eight wins, one draw, and no losses on High Elves. High Elves might be my secret best team. That's like my all-time NAF record on High Elves. Eight wins, one draw, and that's got me one second place and one like eleventh place because Brighton Pierce had the stupidest tiebreakers imaginable. <laughs> Love you, Neil, but that was a very terrible set of tiebreakers. <laughs> Coming around to the war dance makes sense. Doesn't get it, probably a reroll. Doesn't reroll. Really yeah, I've, I've come around to health in a big way. Like, the extra arm is pretty nice. I've never liked them because I've always played them in. Um, I've always been playing them in, um, I guess, what would you call this? Like a development rule sets where you can develop the players. And I've just always found them a bit eh because, like, they're not as fun as pro elves and they're not as fast as wood elves and they're not as frenzy as dark elves but in math the extra bit of armor but getting to keep like fast catches feels really good boo to not falling over okay we need to go through which is awkward because the tree's in the way but we still need to do it so we're just gonna have to roll some dice oh, that's a one crap mm, i like this less And I think we're giving it to you and going as far as we can. We start doing this in a while. Don't like that. Really don't like that. Uh oh. Problems. Big problems. Good thing we're tuning up because this is big problems now. That was four ones in a row. Mm. 
Yeah, the pressure on them is really fun. Like the fact that you can just really get up in people's faces. I really enjoy it. There was probably a better plan than that. I was being impatient. I was just thinking we can move that, we can hand off here and off we go. But there was probably a better way to do it. I think that was impatient to my detriment. But I just remembered we don't even need to win this game, we just need to draw it. So as long as we don't concede three touchdowns in seven turns, we're okay. The second touchdown before half time really helped. Lordy is not in the running for playoffs, so it's not affecting him, but um, if we lost, we would have dropped from third to fourth, and that would have knocked us out, because we're level on points for Yasmir, but Yasmir beat me. We're one ahead on touchdown difference. If we lost, we would have gone, at best, we would have had equal, and then they would have won ahead to head, so we did need to get at least a draw, which looks like we should be okay for here, even with this situation going wrong. Obviously, it's the last try for win, which also still looks very doable. But knowing that only three touchdowns knocks us out here is good. Morg has definitely done some work. He's uh, but just one cast. I think he's had like two or three KOs as well as that stun just then. So he's definitely done some work, but he hasn't ruined my team in the way that you sort of fear he can. I would really like to go to a tournament island. I would like to go to Tom Island, that'd be really fun. I think that's one of the next ones on the list. Because, you know, international travel, but also the flights. You can get flights to Ireland for peanuts, can't you, so? In November, Collie? No way. In November, no way. There's too much on the calendar already. Mm. Like, I'm going away to your... To not your to Thulian's tournament and your birthday in uh, November. I'm going to Oh, January? Oh, January, maybe. January, maybe. Hmm. Gets the rest on. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. It would be fun. So this is definitely going to be an underworld touchdown. I think we're at the point where we don't put any rerolls into trying to stop this because uh, we'd rather keep rerolls for another offense if it comes to that. What can we hit? Probably we should not take the tackle one because then we can dodge the catcher away more easily. So we can't just catch away more easily. Take touch it away. It's good. Let's bring you around. Just trying to make you blitz that, so you're not blitzing one of the pieces that I care more about. Um, is why I'm doing that one. Try the papers. Not actually sure I should have done that pre because it's a chance to roll injury, isn't it? Which could end up regretting. So the Underworld will likely score this turn, which will give him five turns. It's not completely over. Like, 2 is definitely on the table here if we don't get these KOs back. What I'm worried about is 2-3. I'm hoping we'll be okay, but it's not 
It's not impossible if they score this time. I would highly recommend that one in January, please, but it's the best Irish one and one of the best ones I've been to. Hey, Henning. Where is it in Ireland? Is that in Cork? I did a big... I haven't been to Ireland. That's not true. I went to Ireland for work a couple of times. So it was both times, just like one night. Um, but I haven't been to Ireland for like... Work trips have been Dublin every time. I haven't been to Ireland to like go around since I was like... Mid twenties, maybe I did a road trip. No, road trip. I don't know what you'd call it. I did like a backpacking trip with my ex. We like did it on the cheap and went um took buses and went all around. It's loads of fun. We went to. I, have I said this to you before on stream? Um, I went with my ex to the Rose of Trilly. Because we just like found out while we were backpacking around that it was happening. We were like, this sounds ridiculous, and it was ridiculous. So we went to the Rose of Trilly. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, it's like, it's like sort of a beauty pageant, but like it's not officially like a beauty pageant. The scoring is a mystery to everyone. Like, it is a bit like in Father Ted, if anyone's seen Father Ted, they have like the lovely girls competition. So like it, it is ridiculous, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. The escorts were funny. I just loved it when they did talents. Like they had like, they had such like a wide range of talents. Because some of them like really had not come with a talent. But then like one of them did like a Rubik's Cube really fast, which I thought was like, yes, we like that as a talent. Um... Okay, we've lost our mighty bow catcher. That's sad. But we have gained one extra elf and we've got an extra reroll because we've got the um, thrower now. So, to stay in and not get knocked out of the playoffs, we need to not concede twice in five turns. That's what it comes down to. All these women travel from all over the world and they get paired up with most. What does cultures mean? The short could go behind that. Makes sense to be putting the two as well. Timeout is gaining or losing. Costing us a turn, that's great. That's perfect because we are just trying to not. Uh, we're just trying to not lose here, so that's fine. Like farm is okay. I'm being really lazy here. I should have covered the ball before doing a tree hit. That was silly. Um, and worse, I did it the last time as well. Um, I think we'll go for the pickup. Let's just go for the pickup. Good. going to hit our one answer again, but the ball's safe. And we cleared a good thing. We have powered another one. What are we, we're on nine players, that puts them on ten, so not doing awfully on that. The timeout, I think, really, like, kind of ends the risk of us losing this one, which is great. I don't think there's anyone we like desperately need the SVP on. I would be very happy to get another look, to get another, or well not another, try to run a stat on this one, but we're not that close because we've got three added skills already, so I think we need to get like 28. Um, I do want the stat on, uh, do want the level on catcher, but I think that's still, because we've got three skills, that's like 16 maybe, so we're probably not getting that now. Uh, we've got leader on this, which is what we wanted, so we haven't got any player that like really needs the SVP. I would have loved to get some SVP on tree. But that hasn't happened. At 
Yep, goes to the water answer, not surprised. Probably should have looked after that better. But it doesn't die, which is good. Bloody Morg. Look at him with his nose ring. Is that a tusk ring? I guess the ring is in his lip, not in his tusk. Let's zoom in and have a look. Yeah, it's in the lip. It's a good model, isn't it? a good model. There's so many good models. Could be the first, second or third. It's a bank holiday weekend. Vicky's having a look. How big is it, uh, Keith Vicks? Is it like a huge one or? He looks like Andy David in Tina Chang's face. I was talking to Andy in Greece. And I was asking if he ever had like different hair to what he has now, because he's always got like that short spiky hair. And he said his hair doesn't grow out well because like it just like goes out. But like I wanna see it. I wanna see what Andy looked like when he had um, young hair and he didn't show me. Okay, I'm gonna be lazy and take this hip with the tree, see if we can go this way. We can go this way. It's great. Like, I think we want to score on the catcher. All things being equal, I think that's what we want to score on. So, let's run through here and hand off. I'm doing this so lazily now, I really should not be doing like this. I really, really should be being a bit more careful with all of this. Had about 40 or so last year. That's quite a big tournament then. I say that, but like, I feel like no tournament I go to any, I say anymore. Like, all the ones down south, are, they're all like 30 plus now. That was too popular. Good morning, Morgan. So you could send a goblin through here and take a one nice case goblins a strength two, the catch a strength two, but it looks like they might just might have our throw instead. If we score on catcher, that might give us a chance to, if we hit the MVP, get a level. Because I think it's 16 for the next one, because it would have gone six assuming these weren't this was like a, a a primary it would have been six eight twelve and i think the next one's 16 so so yeah touchdown catch would be nice no, I may actually say something. give us that mvp chance for the thing we really want that's fine Can't argue with that. Can you? 
I'm not a power there. I think I'm gonna hit on this one. Yes. I was like, This one's a two dice. Now we are. Don't sneak, please. Don't sneak. Get touchdown. And I think we can now say the misfortunes are going to pass. Pretty good. It's been a bit of an up and down season. There's been times this season I have been pretty worried about playoffs and not thinking we're going to make it. So, very happy to be looking like we're in a good spot now. There is uh, two turns left. I do not know if Lordy would uh, try to kill our tree, but they might. And they have more, so I think at this point, pretty sure we've got plenty in the bank to buy linemen for playoffs if we want them. I think we just keep everyone safe. Not five naught. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's been a tough season. It's been a tough season in Big Idea One. We started with a first game was tough against Coke Guy. It was a tough draw. Um, we uh, lost to Yaz, who's a good coach, and I think unlucky to miss out on playoffs. But yeah, we had that loss and draw early on, and it was a division that had two buys in it because we started with nine teams that wanted to drop out. So a lot of people were getting like automatic wins, and well, ev everyone was getting automatic wins, but it meant that the loss and the draw early on put us behind the eight ball a bit. We had another draw against Linen, which um, again put us in a tight spot, but we've ended strong. We've got some wins when we needed them the last few weeks, so so we get to go to playoffs. Who knows what monstrosity we will see once we get there, but we get to go to playoffs. Usually, if it's me in any sort of playoffs, what happens is we lose in the first round on turn 24. That's usually what happens to me in playoffs, so fair assumption that one happened again. Someone got sent off, their kicker got sent off. The only way is up from losing to yards, if I get that joke. I mean, I know like the only way it's up is like a song. I don't know if Yaz. If there's something I'm missing from that. What are we doing here? Are we going for a one turn? Because this looks like a one turn setup. But if it's a one turn, why aren't we just using Morg to eat someone? Because that's definitely on the cards. Maybe we are. Maybe that's just three dice. Like, if you want to one turn, I think the answer here is just pick up, hand off, and more beats. But maybe they're not. Maybe we're just going to go for a two turn. Oh, yes, yeah, the artist, okay. Trying to maximize. This makes me think that, that, that uh, Lordy is bringing the team back. Because they're trying for SVP still. If they're trying for SVP, it makes sense if they're trying to bring the team back. I guess they might drop to Division 2, or depend what sign-ups are like. Because, yeah, I think they're finishing in the bottom half. 
Division 1 now. It always used to be pretty, like, strict in the Division 1s in Rebel. It was always, like, the top... Like, if you're in the bottom half of the Division, you got relegated. But numbers are a bit less than they were... Well, they're a lot less than they were back in the Rebel heyday. And Vigo, in particular, is always a bit smaller on numbers. That so will depend a lot who's re-rolling, I imagine. Is the halving team hard to play? Yes. <laughs> Short answer, yes. Yeah, it's drastically easier to see Pet Green's house. That is definitely true. That's definitely true. Like, halflings are a weird team because you, you basically, like, if you're playing in a league or ladder setting, you just want to keep them super, super cheap. And, uh, and then, um, or just try to get some SVP on our mighty bow piece. You want to keep them super, super cheap, and then um, what was I going to say? And then you rely on your inducements. Obviously, like you want to get the Master Chef every game because the Master Chef gives you um, a chance to steal your opponent's rerolls. That's only a hundred thousand for halflings, whereas it costs more for other teams. Um. But other than that, you're definitely reliant on stars. Like, you're reliant on players like Griff or Carla being a ball carriers or Morg doing work. So they're a very, they're a very odd team. Very different to most teams you play. They can be fun. They can be very rewarding. Uh, they can be a lot of fun if you're just going for, like, the crazy plays. But they're definitely difficult. Cashy three rules left. We did start with... F well, we started with three because... Leader was KO'd, but we had. Do not know why I've put this here. That's not a screen. They could surf that if they wanted to. But the, um, yeah, we haven't really had to use Rios' half. It's been a bit of a weird half. Like, we obviously made, like, a mess of the first drive to half. But it felt like there was never much jeopardy because we were tuning up. So, it's been a bit of a strange half. Scoring at the end of the first half really, like, locked this time for us a bit. The, the surf at the beginning, I think, really was, like, decisive, wasn't it? Because it, it turned the ball over and got us the ball. And you're right, then the second one as well, yes, the two surfs. The two surfs really did win the game, didn't they, this one? They did. Which is why I like having a juggernaut frenzy ward answer, because surfs are good fun. And also can help win games. I think it's really powerful for Wood Elves as well, because, like, we've got the money to go as well, but you still, most games with Wood Elves, you're going to be down players. Um, and giving yourself a chance to flip that narrative and be the team that's up players is really powerful, as well as simply the fact of, like, turning the ball over. So I really like having that surfing threat. Just missed you, Lordy. Lordy's lovely. Lordy's, like most people in Rebel Bigger, a very lovely opponent. All right, so lovely big win for oh my god we got it oh my god i think that means we can put sprint on catch for playoffs that's so good 
Because we scored it. It doesn't show here because you have to validate. Um, I don't know if we validate in game now. There's a validate button in game now. There didn't used to be a validate button in game. Maybe someone else who plays in Rebel knows. Chris and Jam are playing Rebel. Because previously we've been validating on Rebel.net. And now I don't know if we validate here with this button. Um, but I'm pretty sure we got a touchdown on catch air. And now four SVP for the MVP were taken to 16. Which I think means we can put sprint on in the playoffs. Which would be amazing. Because then we have the one push one turn. Shamma has been pushing in game and no one's yelled yet. <laughs> Press the button and find out. Well, I'm on stream, so we will find out. Are you sure you want to validate the result? This action is final. 3 2, it looks correct. We've clicked it. We've clicked the button. Let's go find out. It'd be nice if we can see everything. It'd be nice to see everything, like, confirmed for playoffs. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So that's all worked. So our team is healthy for playoffs. Darjeeling moves up because they might roll a level. Um, Greed T actually did not need to get to... Wait, I'm confused now. Wrong one. Catcher. Yes, we got exactly the right amount. We got to 16 and we needed 16. Amazing. So we can take sprint. I think I just take that. I, mean, I could wait and see what my opponent is, but I think I'm just going to want that. So I'm just going to hit it. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to hit that. So so we've got that ready for playoffs. I will not do randoms and other stuff yet because I will wait and see what we're playing around round one. Um, I think both war dances are probably saving for a stat. So we are eight away on Elga Day. We are... Uh, three away on Lady Gade. It's a shame she left the game so early because we could have tried to get that one. Um, but that's fine. Um, yeah, because movement or better yet, agility would be amazing on these. I would probably take strength, even though it's going to make my TV ridiculous, just because, like, whatever, it's fun. Maybe less so here because I've taken the Dauntless. Um, we could random skills here. We could random skills here. But yeah, definitely we'll wait and see what the um, opponent looks like. So... After two full seasons, we've gone 12, 3, and 3 on the Misfell Tees on their return. Um, pretty happy with how we ended this season. It was a rough start. We can't show the table because they've had to do something funky with the rankings. They've had to keep resetting them. So it doesn't show here. But I could show you out of game what the... Uh, um, hang on. I could bring it up. Let's do that. Let's show everyone what the standings will look like. Uh, window capture. Properties. Um, uh, where is it? There it is. So that is um, not yet taking into account our win. So with the win, we will still be behind Coke Guy because uh, they have a better touchdown difference than us by quite a bit. But you can see here, if we'd lost, we would have gone, even if we lost by one touchdown, we'd go level with Yasmir, and Yasmir had the head-to-head -head on us. So if we had lost, we would have gone out. But because we've won, we will stay in third place, and top three was what we needed for um, playoffs. We started off with four playoff spots in Division 1, but because we had someone drop out, um, and we were already on nine, they decided that four playoff spots for eight teams was too many. So we lost a playoff spot to Division Two, which is fair enough. But unfortunately, it does mean that Yasmir pays the price on that one. It's been a really, really tough race. Yasmir and Lennon have both been right in it the whole way. Lennon uh, lost to Coke Guy this last round, but if Lennon had won, he'd be on 18 points and Coke Guy would be out instead. So the whole division's been super, super tight. Um, but Coke Guy, who won the whole thing last season, comes second, striking, and the undead uh, come first. And that's Rebel Big O Division 1. We could have a scan through all the other divisions. Yep, there's Shambrin G Man Division 1. That's the European Conference. But these uh, 
well, this isn't done, is it? So not necessarily top four. Viking Cop is on the bubble. Could get knocked out if the wall win. Um, Rel has two Division 1s, apparently. That's the North American Conference. Looks like they're not done either. Strategic Cheese, top for now. Um, I don't know all these coaches, but Trout's a really good coach for sure. Luminous is another really good coach, top of Division 1B with the Skaven. So yeah, lots of good coaches. Um, we will find out who's going through. A 7 0 Nurgle team at Arkham. I have Inception to you. Where was the 7 0 Nurgle team? 7 0 and 2. Eight. Oh, yeah, top of Division 1. G Man, it's a very good record. They've had two seasons now, so they're probably getting to be quite a big team. Uh, it's less big than I would have guessed, actually. It's less big than I would have guessed to have a record like that. They've got a great killer. They've got two good bloaters, but two baby bloaters isn't. isn't isn't what you're hoping for, is it, as Nagel? Um, just the one skill on the yeah, big guy. Not like an amazing ball carry. They've got the sh they're obviously saving here for a stat, aren't they? Because they're on 17. Because I would have thought you would have taken like one of the mutations by now, which you could take on a regular. But if you've got 17 SPB, you're saving. So maybe they just want to get. Oh, this is already movement up. This is already movement up. I missed it. So maybe they're trying to save to go move an eight. Sure hands move an eight ball carrier. Okay. I like that and hate it. Like I like it for them. I hate playing against it. So um I see what they're doing. Makes some sense. Very long term strategies. They were seven oh and oh, and then they lost to me and they lost to the dwarves. Okay, so they've they've run into some trouble at the end. But yes, that was that's where we're up to in Rebel. Um we are coming back for playoffs. Um but I will wrap up the YouTube there if you've enjoyed this Rebel season. It's not over yet. We've still got the inevitable round one playoff defeat to come. Because it is inevitable. It's what happens to me in playoffs. But uh, if you've enjoyed it so far, hit that like and subscribe.